Welcome back everyone to Thermal Progression. Uh, I've gotten a few things done uh, since the last episode. Like I said last episode, I think I said I was going to go dig some stuff up. And I think I said I was going to go mining, which I didn't do that yet. But I want to go get some clay to make some uh, seed brick. And also that, uh, let's see, that lava clay bucket from uh, in Iguana Tinker Tweaks. Um, so we got that going. Got some seared going obviously going uh, in the furnace I don't know why I just said obviously and since we don't have coal we can't use uh, well obviously can't use coal to God, I gotta stop saying obviously uh, we can't use coal to uh, cook stuff we just have to use wood which kind of sucks but uh, we'll definitely get the coal at some point in the game um, I don't know if my tinker uh, my NEI fix I think it did when I wasn't recording, it was completely fine. Um, it was just a bit slower, but it was a lot better than last time, where it wouldn't like it takes a, like five seconds to load one item I search for. So, kind of fixed itself. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the quest books. To see what I've done. All right, we're 50% done with the stone age, so we're almost to the industrial age. We can start on food for days. Um, let's open this up. All right, so we got getting lava and we got the lava clay bucket and we are on it's getting hot in here uh, so gotta kinda make one of everything at the moment so let's go ahead and do that uh, and it gives you four aluminum brass ingots alright so to do this I know one is like this that's one down one's like this it's two down one's like this three down what's the other two we need we need Oh, seared tank. Pretty sure we need glass for seared tank. Yeah, see, it's a lot better uh, when it when you search stuff up. Let's see, yeah, we need one piece of glass. But uh, I used all my sand because I got the perfect same amount of everything. So let's go ahead, uh, put the stuff in the chest for now, and go grab some sand and. Might as well pick up a, uh, a bit more of everything while we're at it. Uh, let's see. It's not desert around here, I don't think. But there is that, but I have to travel over like 50 mountains to get over there, so no thank you. Um, Alright, well, that's we can always just get some sand around here, which isn't too big of a deal. Let's grab this uh, gravel here. Um, so for the quests, actually, better yet, let's not start on that thought. Let's go ahead. And, um, I wanted to tell you guys uh, how to. Well, I the series. I well, the first few episodes. I want to give everyone a tutorial on how to get started because nobody likes to play a mod pack that they can't figure out how to get started. And um, that was kind of me. Kind of took me a while to figure everything out before. I could get started because I kind of just got stuck to the point where I have a stone pickaxe, but I can't mine iron with it or uh, or copper or anything else. So that was my big uh, big problem. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So basically, how to get started, Flint um, is probably your best friend, and you have to use uh, wooden sticks like we found out last time, or wooden tool rods to uh, make regular tools, um, which. Like I said before, um, I'm guessing a lot of people don't use Tinker as a start. I'm not one of those people that use Tinker's Construct as a starting mod. Um, so, yeah, use flint and wooden tool rods and wooden bindings uh, for this to work. Just want to let you guys know that because uh, there's a lot of mod packs uh, that I've done, I think. Let's see. Uh, Garen's Skies was one of them, but I did enjoy, I figured it out and did enjoy playing it. Um, most mod packs with, let's see, I don't know how I want to word this, but, okay, well, this sand sucks. Uh, most mod packs with quests and just stuff that prevent you from going to your, whatever you usually do. You can't just go to, like, straight, um, iron pickaxe 
and mine stuff with their stone pickaxe. Uh, most mod packs like that usually have something in them that you have to do. And figuring them out is uh, sometimes fun, but I don't really enjoy figuring it out. There seems to be a lot of gravel here. So, simple, easy tutorial on how to get started on this mod pack. And everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, if you kind of get stuck, like I said last time, quest book, best friend. Um, shouldn't be too hard. And uh, that is about it. And if you really get stuck on any other mod pack, go find a village, because you're probably going to get started in a village. <laughs> Unless you're like playing Crash Landing or like Agarian Skies. I, I can't help you there. I don't really have a suggestion. You're just going to have to go figure it out yourself. Alright, cool. Make a mess of this place. This is just about to break. So the flint pickaxe really is not that bad. It's not too bad actually. I thought it would be uh completely horrible, like uh like it just dig really slowly. I mean the pickaxe, I haven't tested the pickaxe yet. We should probably test it. I mean we could grab coal now at this point, but I haven't gone mining yet. And I probably have to take the wow, amazing one coal. Probably have to take the table with me. Um, all right, sorry about that. Where am I? Oh, where am I going? I just completely lost my thought, except for that one coal that I just remembered. Uh, yeah. Oh, like I said, I haven't gone mining. I probably should have, but I would need to take a. I'd probably need to take the table with me. Um, that's probably a good suggestion to start off when you go mining with this. Is uh, take the take the uh, what is this? The tool station with you, or make another one, um, so you can repair your stuff on the way down when you are mining. Because these uh, don't last very long. Clumsy. Let's see about this. Skill XP. Huh, I don't know how the XP thing works, but 150 durability. One, you get to mine 150 blocks. I think uh, it might be a lot, but it's basically like nothing. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to uh, go mine. We're gonna have to go find a mine soon, but I think today we're not gonna do that yet. Let's just go ahead and cook some more stuff. I think we need. Let's put like. 10 pieces in there. Then grab the rest of this seared brick. Alright, so I just want, I really just want to complete this quest for now. That's going to be our main goal. Alright, cool, we got mighty smelting. Let's see, all we need is a uh, smeltery drain, bricks, only requires one brick, smeltery controller, and smeltery drain. So for the drain, so I think it's this. No, that's a controller. So for the drain, I remember, but brick is just four. Let's go look up the drain. Yeah, a lot more faster this time. Must have been something wrong um, last time. Alright, so we made all that. Let's go ahead and claim our reward here. Hear that awesome music. So yesterday I actually figured out how to hook up my piano to my computer to the sound system. So that was pretty funny. Um, I figured out how to do it to like get the sound all the way through Skype because I got a new sound card and it's working great. Uh, so got to troll some of my friends with that. Hello, Mr. Creeper. I think you'll be the. Oh. God. Okay. Well. I was gonna say you're gonna be the first mob I encountered and probably could get some loot out of. But it seems to me that the knockback on the wooden sword is uh, complete and, uh, well, it's just, it's literally just complete shit. <laughs> I thought I'd hit him back a bit further, but now we just have a hole over there. I didn't really expect the creeper to be there. Oh, by the way, guys, look at my armor. Amazing. I'm, I'm basically a tree. <laughs> yep, great. Alright, cool. Got all that stuff. We just have to make more bricks now, I believe. Which don't have a lot left, but 
Yeah, eight's not gonna get us anywhere. Should probably patch this hole up. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna use that. And probably repair this. So repairing stuff is pretty easy. I didn't show you guys this last time. Oh, uh, we have the flint in my inventory. Go to your tool station. Um, put whatever you want to fix in this slot, and then put the repair item, which actually tells you what the repair item is. So that's nice. Um, says right there, material, material, uh, flint. Put a piece of flint in, and it'll get repaired. I'm just gonna repair it all the way. So it's more or less an anvil. All right. So cool. We got that done go check out the rest of our quests here. We can go to Knight in Shining Armor. Gives you an Iron Sword. I think uh, my recommendation um, or my suggestion would kind of be to upgrade this reward because to make all this and get that isn't too awesome. I think we should get like maybe one more item that's pretty cool. I didn't really like doing this either because this required a crap ton of wood and we only got one sword which I could just make out of the wood so um, to be honest I, I don't think that's a that's the greatest reward uh, for making that better tools however ooh but the tool forge you oh god yeah the tool forge however requires iron <laughs> and a lot of iron I mean a lot it's like what is that that has four so 36 yeah you need 36 iron just to make that I can do math today, hopefully. Uh, a better bucket? I'll just get another bucket of lava. I don't know really what I'm going to do with that. Bronze pickaxe head. Ooh, we get to get TNT. Hmm. Well, I think what we could do... Grab this alloy. Yeah, so grab this... Uh, uh, oops, wrong one. What we could do is go to the strongest alloy and get uh, iron from this or bronze. But we already get a bronze pickaxe set, so grab the iron from this. Go to make a better bucket. Well, we don't really need the lava. Um, we can start on our armor or something like that. We'll figure it out. It doesn't really matter what order we go in. Um, I like to take like the rest of this episode to do this quest because that just got unlocked and we can actually start on this so gardener all we need is a hoe to get started here so let's go ahead and make a hoe and we're out of wood again because I literally use a few like probably two stacks of wood just cooking stuff amazing right all right cool did I not did I not craft it oops there we go, time to farm. And we get one carrot, let's eat it. No, I'm probably need it for later. I mean, if we can find another village, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, better soil, if you want. So we need fertilized dirt. Let's see how to make fertilized dirt. There's like two kinds of fertilized dirt. That's a bit strange. It's, uh... Wow, that's a pain in the ass to make. Yeah, maybe after I make a, get a mob grinder, that'd be nice. Uh, uh, oh well, let's see what else we can do. Uh, we can make a presser. Let's see what we can do with that. Or how to make that, at least. Okay. Extra utilities. Oh. Click the round one. Oops, my bad. Uh, this isn't too bad, except that it requires somewhat a bit of iron. That one would probably be pretty hard. I kind of want to make that pizza. Oh. Ooh, this gives you food. Pretty cool. Pam's Harvest Craft is extremely, extremely cool. Uh, watering can. Watering can probably requires iron. <laughs> Everything requires iron, basically, at this point. 80% done with food for days. Kind of look through all the quests here. Ooh, we can get started on uh, Thumbcraft, I'm pretty sure. Thumbcraft's always have been, uh, sorry, I can't talk. Thumbcraft's always been a late game thing for me. Or like after I've gotten settled, the AE system going, everything's going, then I start at Thumbcraft. Um, for building purposes, obviously, that's about what I just use it for. Let's see. Okay. Okay, Iron Cap 1, I think you need iron and, yeah. 
So everything in this game is requiring iron at the moment. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here. And we will be back next time. We need to get some coal. I will go do some mining. Be back next time with a smeltery, hopefully. Um, we'll set that up. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. That'd be really appreciated. Uh, like I said last time in the last episode. If you want to check out the mod pack or play it yourself, everything will be in the link. Uh, or in the description down below in a link. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see everybody next time.